In this video I'm going to show you how to connect an iPad, this instant, the mini, mini iPad, to an external monitor up there. So I can monitor the video I'm shooting through the mini. You will need a lightning digital AV connector. Has an HDMI port and also a charging port simply because when transferring data from your, your iPad to the external monitor it uses a fair bit of power. So you can plug this unit in and charge it up while you're draining power out to your monitor. Right, first thing we'll do is we'll connect the adapter to the lighting port on our Mini. There we have it there. Next thing we'll do, we'll connect HDMI cable to the port and then connect the other end of the HDMI cable to the external monitor. It's a very simple operation. Now you can see my mini on my external monitor. This part of the video you can see me checking wheels for end play on a clock movement. This video is being captured on the iPad and being displayed on the external monitor. You can see me working on the clock and also the video displayed on the external monitor. That pivot will have to be replaced. We'll go and check some photos and you'll see how they come up. What do we got here? This is Sessions Belvedere clock that we're working on. And you'll see as we scan through, the pictures change. That's the movement. We start taking it to pieces. It had a broken click spring, hence the spring hanging out the side, which we repaired in one of our videos. And that is literally all there is to it. Very easy to set up. Plug it in, away you go. Now we've got that connected, simple though it was, we'll have a look and see it working. We'll look at some photos first. This is a clock we're currently working on, Sessions Belvedere. As you can see, there's marks on the case, etc., which we'll have to clean up and we'll end up French polishing it. We'll just slide through, have a look at a few photos. That's the movement. It's always a good idea to take photos of, of a different clock so that you can see exactly how to put it back together again including those little springs sometimes they're wound on in different directions and i've shot a little bit of a video so that you can see a video playing on the screen this is a video of some of my mickey mouse clocks and flip clocks have all been repaired they're all working i have other ones that i've yet to do we'll start it up running along the top Japanese one on the end there German dancing lady clocks and mostly German cut crystal two inch movement clocks the French one there with the blue face another flip clock that has to be done yet plus French polished case for another chiming clock a DRGM 